<clears throat> hey, welcome to Geekdom. I'm your host, Don. Uh, today is going to be the first in a two-part series. The first part is mounting a network share. Um, second part is going to be backing up. We'll get to that in the next video. Um, so let's go ahead and log into our Raspberry Pi. And the reason I'm doing this as a separate video is just because mounting a network share has so many uses. Um, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to see if the SIFS utility is installed by doing a sudo app list installed. And a SIFS utility is the, the component to help you mount SIFS shares in Debian. So let's find it here. Yep, there we go. Now, second way is the way I normally do it, just because it's faster. I don't like having to scroll through all this. And we're actually just going to try to install it. So, sudo app install sifs dash utils. Wonderful. There it is, newest version. Okay, so the next thing we'll do is we're going to create a credential file. Um, and the reason we're going to do this is because in the script we're going to write to mount the drive, we don't want to store our stuff in plain text. And while this is going to be a plain text file, we're going to do some, some things to, to help secure it. So the format is user equal username, password equals password for the share you're trying to connect to, whether it's Windows, NAS, whatever. And we do it with the dot so it's hidden. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to chmod it so that only we can edit it. That is not the best scenario, but it helps secure and only we can modify it now. So with that created, Let me clear my screen here. So with that, uh, there's two places people normally mount network drives. You can either do it in media or in the MNT folder, mount. Uh, I prefer to do it in the mount because I'm mounting something. That did not come out right. But, uh, so we're going to go and make a directory in the mount folder. And this is going to be our mount point. So when we run our script, it's going to say, hey, take this remote drive folder and map it to this local folder. And as you can see, it's blue. It's a regular folder. So good. Come on. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to mount the F-stab. F-stab is what's going to mount that every time we reboot this machine. So the format is going to be your remote server slash share. You don't have to do the path. You just do that, that root folder. This is going to be our local mount point that we just created. Come on. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit of lag here. Uh, SIFs. That's going to tell it we're going to mount a SIFT share, SIFS share, credentials equal, come on, and we're going to put in the full path to that SMB credentials file we did. Now we have to put a little bit of text here on the, the back end, um, so we need to set the IO character set, and this is just telling Linux how to deal with what we're mounting. So UTF-8 comma we're going to do file underscore mode 0777 that tells us we have full rights to that. Directory mode so the file mode tells us how we're mounting the permissions so this is kind of like uh, run as administrator in Windows uh, and the last two zeros, I, I haven't figured out what they are, but I know they're important. Okay, so now we can actually test this by doing a sudo mount-a. That just tells it to run fstab now. So now you can see the backups folder looks different. So let's go ahead and drill down into it. And this is a brand new folder out of my share, so... 
give me one second here to go drop a file in there. Okay, so now if we do an LS, now we see there's a new file there. So it's just a real quick, down and dirty way of persistently mounting a network drive uh, within Debian. So every time you reboot, this is going to mount. Uh, so, hope this helps you out. Um, if you like it, please make sure to hit that subscribe and like button up below. And I will catch you guys next time. Take care.